extreme location and fun. I'm calling on all adventurers on the planet. We're about to embark on a journey to the world's most remote locations. So if you are a mere tourist and faint of heart, you should turn back. But if you are an adventurer who wants to test your limits and push yourself out of your comfort zone, you are welcome. These locations would have all of the land's extremes, the hottest, coldest, highest, deepest, and more. Sorry, I was just trying to sound like one of those British royal messengers. How do I fare? Anyway, if you enjoy adventure and pushing your limits, then buckle up, fasten your seatbelt, open your mind, and let's explore 10 of the world's most extreme locations, safely behind your screen, of course. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Travel Purity, where we bring you the most exciting places in the world. All right, let's go exploring. Number one extreme place, the Salar de Uyuni in Bolivia, South America. Salar de Uyumi is the world's flattest place and has over 10,000 square kilometers of salt flats. It formed long ago as a result of evaporated prehistoric lakes. The area is estimated to contain 10 billion tons of salt and be the world's largest lithium reserve. One of the unique features of this location is that when covered in water, it becomes the world's largest mirror, measuring approximately 129 kilometers in length. As a result, you can see your reflection as well as the sky. However, this only happens in January when it rains. I hope you didn't forget to bring sunscreen and warm clothes because it's very hot during the day and very cold at night. Is this challenging yet? No? Well, we still got a long way to go. Number 2 Extreme Place Tristan da Cunha Tristan da Cunha is the world's most isolated island located approximately 1,732 miles off the coast of Cape Town, South Africa. It is a British overseas territory with fewer than 300 permanent residents, all of whom live in Edinburgh of the Seven Seas. This means that only a small portion of Tristan is inhabited. Because the island lacks an airstrip, the only way in and out is by boat, which takes six days. The island is best known for its uninhabited wildlife reserves, which include Go Island, Inaccessible Island, and Nightingale Island. The island is home to species found nowhere else on the planet. Do you think you'll be able to stay on Tristan Island for two weeks? Number 3 Extreme Place – Mount Thor Mount Thor, also known as Thor Peak and named after the Norse god of thunder, is the steepest mountain on the planet. It is situated at an elevation of 16,075 meters in Ayutig National Park on Baffin Island, Canada. The west face of the peak has the longest vertical top on Earth, measuring 4,101 feet with a 1,005 degree overhang, making it more steep than vertical. An American team made the first successful attempt to climb Mount Thor in 1985, taking approximately 33 days. As you can see, the climb is not for the faint of heart. Be warned. Are you ready for a climb up Mount Thor? Number 4 Extreme Place Masinram Village in Magalia, India The wettest place on Earth. The annual rainfall in this charming village is approximately 11,419 millimeters. One of the reasons for its precipitation is its proximity to the Bay of Bengal. Masinram rarely gets hot due to its high elevation. The residents of the village have adapted to the client by wearing nyup, which are full-body umbrellas made of bamboo and banana leaves. The living bridges made by the locals from the roots of rubber trees are one of the village's most fascinating features. It is the best place to witness the rage of the rain. Tired of the humid weather? Let's head somewhere dry. Actually, it's the driest place on the planet. Number 5 Extreme Place The Atacama Desert Aside from the poles, the desert is the driest place on Earth. It is located in Chile, South America, and spans a 1,600-kilometer stretch of land. Some areas of the desert receive less than one millimeter of precipitation per year, while others haven't seen rain in over 500 years. The desert is used as an experimentation site on Earth for the Mars expedition because of its alien-like landscape. Being the driest does not imply that there is no water, 
because numerous underground reserves have been accumulated over time. The next set of extreme locations we'll be exploring are indeed extreme and will be difficult. If you have enjoyed visiting all of the locations you have visited thus far, please let us know by hitting the thumbs up button. If you are unable to continue on this journey with us, please let us know in the comments section, but we will be sorry to see you go. However, if you know you can continue with us on our journey to even more extreme places, I guarantee it will be both exciting and challenging. So explorers and adventurers, shall we proceed? Number 6 Extreme Place Gansby, South Africa Gansby, in the Overberg district of Cape Town, South Africa, is known as the most dangerous water on the planet because it is the home of the Great White Shark. It has a shark alley, so named because it is home to the densest population of various shark species, including the Great White Shark, Bronze Whaler Shark, and Seven Gill Cow Shark. You can get up close and personal with these dangerous creatures by boarding one of the many shark cages. If not, you can watch whales from the sand of Pearly Beach. Which do you prefer, playing with sharks or whale watching? Number 7 Extreme Place The Loot Desert Dashti Loot, also known as the Iranian Salt Desert, is a large salt desert in southeast Iran. Its sand surface has been measured at temperatures as high as 70.7 .7 degrees Celsius, and it can even reach 800 degrees Celsius. The desert is located in an interior basin surrounded by mountains, and the climate is hyper-arid due to high temperatures. It is dotted with massive rock formations, some of the world's tallest sand dunes, and friendly wolves that roam around at night. Although it is not recommended to visit the Loot Desert during the summer because it will be the hottest, the night temperature can drop below zero degrees in the winter and spring. And that is why we are investigating it. That's why we're here now, to feel the heat of the desert. Okay, I know you've had enough of the heat, so we are heading to the next extreme location on the planet, which will provide some relief from the heat. Are you ready? Number 8 Extreme Place East Arctica's Plateau The coldest place on Earth. Because of its high elevation and proximity to the South Pole, the plateau has the coldest climate on the planet. The plateau is mostly high and even, with an extremely cold and dry climate and no wildlife. According to data and research, the surface temperature regularly falls below minus 90 degrees Celsius. It's a location where the Earth is at its most vulnerable. You can visit the Mawson Hut, Dome Argus, Vostok Station, Lake Vostok, and other incredible places in Antarctica. However, if you want to get around, you'll need to ride skis, skidoos, tractors, snowcats, and ski planes. Number 9 Extreme Place Mount Chimborazo is the closest point on the planet to outer space that man can reach on foot. Chimborazo with a peak elevation of 6,263 meters, is Ecuador's highest mountain and the highest on Earth when measured from the Earth's center rather than sea level. It is situated in the Andes region of central Ecuador. The mountain is covered with snow from about 15,400 feet up. There are several routes for daring climbers if you want to push your limits. You can take the standard route, the El Castillo route, which ascends 1,300 meters up the mountain's west side and takes between 8 and 12 hours to reach the summit of Whymper. The descendant will take 3 to 5 hours. If not, you can simply stare at the mountain. But you're an adventurer, so that won't work, right? I know this journey has been challenging, so we'll end it somewhere relaxing but still extreme. Number 10 Extreme Place The Quietest Place on Earth the anechoic chamber of Orfield Laboratories in Minneapolis, USA. The room is so quiet that the longest anyone has stayed is 45 minutes. Noise levels in the room are negative 9.4 decibels, and it is 99.99% sound absorbing. The quieter the room, the more you hear. As your ears begin to adjust to the quietness, you'll hear your heartbeat your lungs, and your stomach gurgle loudly. You become the sound in the space, and it can be very disorienting. So disorienting that people have trouble standing. The only way to stay in the space for an extended period of time 
is to sit. How long do you think you can last in the world's quietest room? Even though you explored from behind a screen, I'm sure it was an amazing adventure journey to the world's most remote locations. Thank you for sticking with us until the end. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.